First, here are all the stories that matter in your own editions of Anglia News. Television takeover, £292 million bid for Anglia. Fire heroine rescues 14-month-old boy from his burning home. Caithness suicide tragedy, the Countess's funeral takes place near Kings Lynn. Hello, good evening. Also tonight, why Luton Town footballers have been getting some rather special treatment. And sharp and clear, the new pictures from space delighting Cambridge astronomers. But first, Anglia Television is recommending shareholders to accept a £292 million takeover bid by MAI, the company that controls Meridian, the South of England broadcaster. The deal will create one of Britain's biggest television groups, although Anglia will retain its regional identity and Norwich will remain the company headquarters. Some job losses are expected as administration and support services are rationalised, but the deal could also see Meridian programmes being made in the Anglia studios. Anglia's share price rose 180 pence to 664 pence on news of the offer. Natural partners is how the two company bosses see it. Certainly it was all smiles today as Anglia's Sir Peter Gibbings and MAI's Lord Hollick announced details of the proposed friendly takeover. The deal would bring together one of the oldest and one of the newest ITV companies. Anglia served Eastern England for more than 30 years. From its studios in Norwich, the company has become a major provider of network drama and wildlife programmes, as well as producing hundreds of hours of local news, current affairs and entertainment programmes every year. Meridian broadcasts to the south of England. Its main shareholder is MAI, the financial services and media group led by Lord Hollick. Meridian's what's called a publisher broadcaster. It commissions and buys most of its programmes from independent production companies. The relaxation of TV ownership rules made Anglia one of Britain's prime takeover targets. The company disclosed today that pre-tax profits for last year are estimated at not less than £16 million. It's generally agreed, though, that small independent TV companies have less chance of succeeding on the domestic and international stage. Anglia has to form part of a bigger grouping, and it's a question of which that group should be. And we believe that MAI is, uh, with Meridian, the outstanding partner. As partners, Meridian and Anglia can be expected to share some administration and support services. Could some jobs go? It looks likely, though there have been no clues about any possible numbers, rather talk of maximising efficiency. I think there will be some, some synergies. There are some opportunities to, uh, to, to combine operations to, uh, to, to uh, improve the performance of the company. But uh, it's really a question, not simply a question of, uh, of, of reducing costs, it's a question of looking for um, revenue benefits and for developing programming. Have you any idea what areas within what areas you'd be looking to, to, to I think it would be premature to, uh, for me to make any comment about that, but obviously we shall be looking at, uh, at all, all the operations uh, with a view to uh, maximising their efficiency. What's being stressed most strongly is the commitment to safeguarding local programmes and regional identity. Meridian, like Anglia, has a split news service, providing separate programmes for different parts of its region. Anglia says the two companies have much in common. The sort of people that live in the two areas are very similar. The economic growth potential is very high and encouraging from our point of view. And we also have the same sort of philosophy about the importance of local programming so that the regional identity is preserved. The deal would see Meridian and Anglia working together to increase their share of programmes for the ITV network and for overseas sale. That should bring more work to the Anglia studios. Uh, we principally uh, use the services of independent production companies and uh, many of those, co those companies uh, look to make their programmes in the most cost-effective way. And certainly Norwich uh, is an attractive centre for, um, for, for, for programme making. The deal would see Anglia continue to operate from its Norwich head office as a separate part of MAI's broadcasting division. Sir Peter Gibbings will remain as Anglia chairman. David McCall will stay as Anglia chief executive and will be invited to join the board of MAI. The Meridian Anglia grouping will be part of the redrawn ITV map. The biggest group will be London weekday broadcaster Carlton and Midlands licensed holder Central. 
they have a potential 19 million viewers and a 30% share of ITV advertising. Next, if Granada gets its way, will be the group formed from its proposed takeover of London Weekend. Result, 17 million potential viewers and a 23% share of advertising. Then will come Meridian Anglia, 9 million potential viewers and 18% of ITV advertising. MAI is giving assurances that the rights of Anglia employees and pensioners will be fully safeguarded. The deal remains subject to ratification by shareholders and any reference to the Office of Fair Trading, but it could be completed within a matter of weeks. The future of Anglia Television has been the subject of speculation both inside and outside the company for months. Anglia's board are recommending acceptance of the deal. It would but still, today's news caught everyone by surprise. Anglia employs about 600 people, mainly in Norwich, and it seems inevitable there will be some job losses. I think we have to move forward now with uh, a mixture of realism and confidence. I think the realism comes from the, the sad fact that there are going to be some job losses here at Anglia. The confidence comes from the fact that we have, I think, got perhaps the best deal which we can get in the current climate in British television, which makes Anglia television among the top three players in British commercial television. The unions say they're pleased there's still a commitment to producing programmes in Norwich and maintaining a strong regional presence. Anglia has eight new centres across its region in the big towns and cities like Chelmsford, Cambridge, Northampton and Milton Keynes. The regional commitment seen as very important within the area. We were delighted when Anglia some years ago decided to set up uh, a, local, uh, a local office and a local unit. We think that's immensely, uh, immensely valuable and uh, we would certainly be most concerned to make sure there were assurances that uh, that provision was going to continue. MAI says both Anglia and Meridian will continue to maintain their regional strengths and identities. The takeover news sent Anglia shares shooting upwards, gaining over a third of yesterday's value. MAI shares also rose. Well, I think it does secure the company's position in Norwich much more than it would have been under a hostile takeover bid. It means that uh, the television company will maintain its regional identity more so than it might have done under another bidder. And uh, I think it, it, is a, it is a positive move because it's become part of what will be a company valued at more than a billion pounds on the stock market. That puts it into the upper end of the medium-sized category. While shareholders still have to approve the deal, it seems the major uncertainty over Anglia's future has now been removed. There remains, however, a lingering uncertainty of what takeover will actually mean in practical terms. A 14-month-old baby from Peterborough has been saved from almost certain death by the bravery...